Hello, hi learners. Welcome to the chemistry class. In today's class, we will be discussing one of the basic and important chapters of chemistry for class 7s and 8s. The chapter name is Atomic Structure. And in today's class, what we'll be doing is we'll be discussing two important terms that is atomic number and mass number. Atomic number and mass number related to atom. So if I would like to begin, now what is atomic number? It is the number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom. As everyone knows that atom is the smallest unit of matter and it is divided into three sub particles like it is comprising of three sub particles which are electrons, protons and neutrons. Talking about the structure of atom you know in the center we have nucleus and surrounding this nucleus are the circular orbits or we call them as energy shells. So to begin with, what does the nucleus comprises of? It comprises of neutrons, neutrons and protons. While in the energy shells, you have electrons revolving, electrons revolving around the nucleus. Now when I talk about atomic number, Atomic number as I said is equal to number of protons present in the nucleus of the atom. So if I say sodium has the atomic number 11 which means the number of protons present in sodium is what is 11. Similarly if I tell you that lithium has 3 protons in the nucleus so what will be its atomic number? It will be 3 itself, this 3 itself. Fine, I hope this concept is clear. Another main thing to be like uh, clear with is that the number of proton is equal to number of electron present in an atom. We are not talking about an ion. For an atom, the number of proton is equal to number of electron. So again, if I say boron has atomic number 5, number of protons there and number of electrons there will also be 5. Similarly, if I have uh, another example, carbon, the number of proton present in carbon is 6 or say the number of electron present in carbon is 6. So you will say the atomic number for that atom, carbon atom is also 6. I hope now this point is clear. Now we will move on to another term, important term which is mass number. So what is mass number? Mass number is the number of protons and the number of neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom. For example, if I say you have to calculate mass number for an element X. And I have given you the atomic number, atomic number of the same and I am saying that the atomic number is say of x is say 11. Plus I have given you what? I have given you the number of neutrons, neutrons for the same again. Say I have given you the number of neutrons as 12. Now I am asking you calculate the mass number for the same, this x. So as you know that mass number is equal to proton, the sum of protons and neutrons that is P plus N. What you will do, since here in the question they have given you atomic number which means the number of protons are provided to you. You know the number of neutrons here. Now you just straight away put the formula that is proton which is 11 plus neutron which is 12. You will get the answer as 23. 
so yes the x x element was sodium it has atomic number as 11 and mass number as 23 so this is the basic difference between atomic number and mass number now in our next class we'll be discussing few of the examples questions related to atomic and mass number in detail up till then keep learning do like and subscribe the channel see you in the next video until then take care